Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Heath Haskins. Heath. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon Two video. Uh, in this episode, I wanted to take the blue axe, the cave axe. Um, is it cave axe? I don't even remember what it was called. What is this thing called? It's, a, it's the, yeah, it's the cave axe. I want to take it down to the blue wood and see what is going on with the blue wood down there. Huh. Make a wish. That was, uh, that was me sneezing on camera and uh, in tradition with uh, my sneezes. If I sneeze on camera and I record it, I always upload it. That way you guys can make a wish on it. If you want. I mean, you don't, you don't have to. But hopefully your wishes come true. I hope they do. Uh, it looks like he just left. Dang it. So, hmm. Well, we'll have to sit here for a little bit. I'll pause it until uh, Mr. Hoover decides to come back. And then uh, we'll, we'll continue from there. So hang tight. There we go. And we're back. <clears throat> okay, let's get on to the bus. On to the bus. All right, Mr. Hoover, sir. I was off playing a different game. Um, uh, when when do you run next? Two minutes and forty-four seconds. What is this? There's nobody else here. Why are you waiting? Come on, Hoover. Hey, <laughs> Code. You know I gotta stick to the rules. Why? Like, there's no. There's literally, literally nobody else here. What if Tom wants to go? Well, I don't think Tom's gonna be driving over here anytime soon. Seriously, let's go. Let's go. Okay, fine. I'll sit in my car and just listen to the radio then. There we go. He's finally decided to go. So. <sighs> just us for a little bit. Um, the holiday seasons are uh, coming to an end. We have one more before the end of the year, and that's the New Year's Eve. So that'll be on 31st. Yeah, I think so. Is, is there 31 days? Yeah, there's 31 days. So. Make sure you have your party poppers ready, your noise makers, and uh, if, you're, if you're young, try to stay up until that 12 o'clock thing. I know that that seems easy to a lot of us, just because we stay up late anyway, because we're gamers, but... Um, it used to be really hard for like my son and my daughter to stay up until 12 o'clock, but nowadays it's just another day. So <sighs> we uh, we picked up some fireworks, <clears throat> picked up a couple of pops, the little snap pop things, and we have some glow sticks from last year. So We're, I I'm ready. Uh, the next big celebration is going to be my daughter's birthday, so that I'm excited for. It'll be fun. And then uh, right after that is my son's birthday, right after uh, New Year's. So, uh, <clears throat> another year, another tax season. Yay. Remember, parents, all your taxes have to be filed by April 15th, I think. What was that yellow thing? Oh, it's a sign. I'm like, there was something yellow. What was it? I didn't realize I could see through the top of his roof. Oh, are we there? Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Okay, so go ahead and turn on my lights. We'll flip a Yui right here. And we'll head down to the caves. Go see how this uh, this cave axe works. I'm excited. I haven't gotten to see it yet. A lot of people, a, a lot of you have been talking in the uh, comments saying that it works just like the fire axe, only against uh, blue wood. Well, I've got a Twitter axe on me as well, so... I'm going to compare the two and see. Oh, i got to go this way. Then the left. Then all the way down this hallway. See which one does better. Most of the time I don't do, like, informational videos. It's just me playing, pretty much. Like, I used to do tutorials and stuff on Lumber, but I've done all the tutorials I can think of. Um... Most of the time, I'll get questions inside my comments, and I'm like, I've done that one, or I've, I've completed that one, I've shown you guys how to do one. So if you have a question or something like that, uh, down in the comments, and I say, hey, check the... Oh, wait, is that, is that open? 
Yay! It's open! Uh-oh. And take a right. I didn't realize we were going to get to it that fast. Crazy. So, door number three is open today. And today is... Wednesday? No, Monday. Today is Monday, the 27th. Okay, here we go. Let's see how well this thing chops. Alright, got the cave axe out here. Let's just, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, seven hits, and here's the Twitter X. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen hits compared to seven. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let's go here to the end. Three hits. Three hits and it was downed. Wow. Well, if you ever had a hard time getting blue wood before, that's not the case now. Wow. Wow. That's an amazing axe. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, if I do this fast enough, I think I might be able to get this stuff back up there to Hoover and back again. All right. Let's just take this and throw it all in. Come on. We're, we're going to speed run this. Because I didn't get to do it last time. I actually uh, I quit out before I got all the way back to the base because I, I didn't want to wait for Hoover again. Uh, now, I might get lost on the way back, I'm just saying. Because the door number three is not my normal path that I take. Door number seven, door number six, uh, door number one, sometimes. Oh, that's too long. That's too long. Alright. We'll chop you out, buddy. There you go. Whew. Whew. Did you fall out? I think you fell out. Okay. Now, last time I tried to just drive straight up it. This time I'm going to drive backwards to get out. But once I get up to the top, then I'll turn around the, the correct way. That's just so everything kind of settles. Here we go. Okay. And it feels a little slick. It feels like the... The ground... <laughs> really? Okay. You know what? Just keep going. Just keep going. My completion of getting blue wood this time. That's... That's my goal. Take a left right here. This is the S tunnel. The S turn. Wish I could put a big S on the side of my car. And then that way when people... See me driving around, they could be like, look at that S car go. That's a snail joke. <clears throat> uh, oh shoot. Was it this one? I don't think it's this one. I think it's the last one. There we go. And then right here. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh wait. This, okay, turn here, and then take a left here, and then a right here, and then a left here, and we're out. There we go. Yay! Making it back with the blue wood. And that is an amazing axe. Mwah! Love it. Love it, love it. It's like we've got fire and ice now. Oh, wait. We need an ice axe. One that cuts ice extremely quickly. 
Is that a percentage up there on top of my uh, my ladder? Can you guys see that? You see that, right? Wow. We made it back with all of our wood. Hoover, do not drop my wood or glitch out my truck this time, okay? One minute, 16 seconds. It's not enough time to run back down there, but it's it's more than enough of time for me. That's a That was a good run. Nice. Dropped off a couple of pieces, but that's fine, that's fine. I, it's not like I actually need blue wood, and we're good. I'm still sitting at four million. <sighs> it's nice. It, it was a good weekend. It was a very good weekend. So, got to hang out with the kids, got to go out and actually uh, eat hibachi grill. I think I said this yesterday, didn't I? I think I mentioned it, but... Something that's always hard with uh, COVID lockdown and stuff like that is watching other people walk around without their mask on. Like, you see the sign at the front of the store, and a lot of stores have been changing it. No shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. And it says, mask is required mask needed and yet people still go in there without a mask on would you walk in there with no shirt and no shoes and the place that I'm talking about no offense GameStop I was in there today guy walks in no mask on the employees didn't say anything it's not their place to but the guy that walked in what's your problem seriously Another place, Vintage Stock. Oh, no, 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 uh, my apologies. Uh, Entertain Mart here in Springfield, Missouri. And I'll, I'll blast them. People were walking around. Mask down to here. Mask on your chin. That doesn't help. I know there's a bunch of people out there with the hashtag mask don't work, blah, 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 survival rates. Don't care. Just because you don't care doesn't mean I don't put a mask on if not for yourself for me I've gotten COVID I've been through it I lived good my family we lived good but guess what I'm paranoid I'm super paranoid I wash my hands constantly I wear my mask constantly I, do, I don't touch handles and if I do have to touch a handle or if I do have to touch something I wash my hands immediately after I stay away from people I stay six feet back I'm a very paranoid person. And you know what? I still got it. I still got it because this virus is not to be played with. It's not to be messed with. Wear your mask. Now, you can blast me in the comments if you want. I don't really care. But it just, it offends me so much that people just blatantly don't wear a mask. You know? <sighs> I think the American people think that they have way too many rights. I, I've been through the military. I fought for this country. I stood up for everyone, for the Constitution. And yet, I look around at all these people who just think they're entitled. Sorry. If you're from another country and your, your country's doing well, awesome. If you're from America, stop it. Stop it, people. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was my Hoover Ride rant. Thanks, Hoover. You're welcome, Code, anytime. <laughs> he didn't flip my truck, and I, I didn't glitch out. I've, I've got all my wood. We are good. Now, why is it getting all glitchy on me? Yeah, that's weird. You know what? We've done this in 14 minutes, too. Cool. Oh, what is this? What are you doing out of here? You get back in there. You get back in there. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. Back it in. Let me begin. I came to win. Something, something, something. I have not heard that song in quite some time. Open. Come here, you. Oh, oh. Come, come here, silly. Oh, big one. That's a big one. Oh, oh I got hit. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. No! We got these on, on long boards. Well, we might have to go do some long boarding. Did I, did I get it all the way up? 2.6 is as high as it goes. Well, dang it. Yeah, well, that'll be fun. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Let's drop these in. Drop this in. And I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who uh, who voted for me in the um, lumber contest for most entertaining YouTuber, the entertainer. Thank you. I did not realize that I was entertaining. <laughs> I'm just playing because I love to play. I love video games. I love making video games too. And I'm getting better at it. I'm getting much better at it. But uh, that's neither here nor there. And hopefully 2021 is going to be my year. 2021 is the year that I shall develop an actual video game. Not a Roblox video game. And that's that's not an insult. That doesn't mean Roblox video games are not real video games. They, they are. They're games. Uh, game creation is not limited to just... Oh, where am I going with this? Hold on. Where's the blue wood at? Oh, you're way over there. Um... Oh, oh, idea, idea. Here, come here. Come here, you. We're gonna take you, slap you where... Oh, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just... Uh, it's not working. Boink, boink, boink. Uh, boom! There we go. Take you, drop you right there, and then we can just walk up this and drop off. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. See that? Long board. Or, uh, not long board. Uh, long plank. If you guys don't know what long planking is, I'll, I'll show it to you here in just a second. We've, we've got 17 minutes. Well, I'm at 17 minutes. Uh, so we still have a little bit of time. And I will take one of these boards and we'll go long planking. So before we had bridges and extra paths and all this extra stuff to, to go different places, the way I got around was long planking. It was before the glitches, before, uh, before all the cool stuff started happening. You know how we did it? Like this. We'd walk over things. This is, this is like, okay, so when you got a grandpa or an uncle who's like, I remember back in my day when we used to blah, blah, blah. That's me in long planks. Back before, before the war. I mean, it, there wasn't a war, but you know what I mean. Same concept. And you can walk up at 89 degrees, if you didn't know that. Um, the maximum, oh, don't stand on top of it. The maximum angle that you can walk up with your avatar is a 90 degree or a 89 degree angle. So like you could have an angle like, whoa, okay, that's 90, like this. Oh, no, no, that fell. Okay, hold on. Like this. That angle right there, that's still, that's still walkable. You can, you can. You can walk that. Whoa, whoa, maybe. Hold on. What happened? Bonk. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Went flying up there. But the hard part's getting the uh, the board back up. Because then you gotta like do this weird stuff like that. Anyhow. Long planking. This is this is how you get around. And it takes a while, so it, it would make for some very good videos, you know? If you record videos like I do. Um, I don't edit. I know that there's been pauses and stuff that I've been doing lately, but I do not edit. Whee. Very gently. There we go. I still need to make a shirt that, that says, uh, do you even long plank bro? Now normally I would not recommend that you jump at all when coming up uh, long planks. Oh, can I make it across there? I don't think we're going to be able to make that. 
Is that too far? Yeah, that's too far. So we're not gonna we're not going that way. But we can go over into the swamp. We'll go to the swampy area. We got time. I'm not gonna reset because I've got my uh, my blue axe on me, my cave axe. And just so you know, if you were to um, take the width of this, uh, we were at three. If you make it down to one, it would be three times as long right now. And we'd be able to make that gap back there. We could climb up all kinds of crazy stuff. I like it. We're in the swamp. Here in the swamp lies the elusive zombie tree. And with the zombie tree grows the elusive gold tree. The goldwood tree is native to this area. Yeah. Now, there's nothing actually over here. I mean, I've been here multiple times. There's no no hidden secrets, no to-dos. Although, if there were a, a like a door that were to appear right there, I'd be like freaking out. Like, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this the boat shop? Is this the elusive boat shop that we've heard so many tales of? I don't think that's gonna reach. That's not gonna reach. Yeah, that's too small. But we can turn over here and get that one. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. You're a little too small, aren't you? Oh, gosh. Stay, stay, stay. No. What are you doing? Silly long plank. Ugh. That is rough. That is a that is a rough jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy cow. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make that. Can I grab you? Oh I can. Just barely. Not too fast. Not too fast. Just right. There we go. We can we can go up this way. Go up this way. Yay! Anybody ever been to the back of the swamp before? You guys want to? You want to see what's back here? Hold on. Is this a is this a tall? How tall is this? Can we make that? Yeah, we can make that. That's a that's an easy climb right there. Woo! Woo! We're up on top. Now, I know that I complain a lot. I complain about people wearing masks, I complain about personalities and stuff like that, but I want you guys to know, like, when it comes to the majority of human beings, humans are inherently nice, okay? We learn our selfishness and stuff like that later on in life. We usually, it's usually the environment that we're around, it's usually um, our past experiences, stuff like that. That's that's what makes us who we are. That's that's what makes us human. Okay, so if you've messed up in the past, or if you've been selfish in the past, or if you've done something to like one of your friends and you felt wrong or bad about it, it's okay. It's really hard to forgive yourself. Like sometimes, sometimes it's hard to just forgive someone else, but when it comes down to it, forgiving yourself is probably one of the hardest things you can do. If you've been scared or anxious or anything about a problem in your life, it's okay to feel that way. And you should be able to express that and tell people that, hey, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the consequences of me saying something to someone. And that's okay. So, I think that's it for now. Uh, we got to see some amazing blue axe at work. And, uh, oh, I said I was going to go over there, didn't I? Hmm. Do we have time? Tell you what, it's 24 minutes. We we have a little bit of time. A little bit of time. A little bit. And if, uh, if the long plank doesn't work, I can always chop off uh, enough to make it look like a door. And we can do the, the fly glitch. So, either way, either way. Uh, we do not want to walk off there. There we go. Jump off here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. 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 Come on
Come on. There we go. Should I be concerned? No. We're good. <sighs> I've always wondered if there's something like way up in the air or way down below the island where he like keeps models of everything. Um, and I know that there's a VIP shack that appears, but um, I haven't seen it myself. Somebody made it appear one time, and I don't remember how. But that was that was a long time ago. Okay, we're just moseying across the top of the swamp here, making good time too. No need to stop and ask for directions. Doing great. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this right now and you haven't watched the other two series, I've got two other videos that released today. And if you would be so kind, please go watch them. They're on the Nintendo Switch. <gasps> what? Nintendo Switch? Yeah, my wife, she got me an Elgato. El Elgato? And it's the HD60S. It allows me to hook up to my computer, hook up to the HDMI output of the Switch and then uh, display it on my screen. I'm actually recording the source directly from the Elgato while the source is playing on my computer. It works with OBS. Uh, somebody was asking me the other day, Code, what do you use to record your videos with? OBS, Open Broadcast Software. And the reason I do that is because I support uh, open software, open source software, highly support open source software. If you need to edit thumbnails, go grab a copy of GIMP, which is Graphic Image Manipulation Program, or GNU Image Manipulation Program. And GNU means free. <laughs> oh, gosh. And there are copyrights with it, but they're like copy less. That means like you can't repurpose it for sell you have to give up the uh, the source code for free I like that I like that I like um, legalese that protect the original creator and allow other creators to openly use what they've created I like that which is also why all of my videos fall under uh, Creative Commons um, they've been like that for a long time. So if there's something that you need to copy from one of my videos, if you need to use it for um, for a school project or something like that, you have every right to grab a copy and re-upload it as long as you have um, my name down there somewhere. Like just say, original creator code primate. That's all you need. That's it. In fact... No, that's it. That's it. I'm, I'm not going to give you guys any kind of ideas. <laughs> Don't pirate the channel. Take all the videos, re-upload them. These are all code primates. Wait, stop. <laughs> Although, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It could be like a backup to the channel, you know? In case uh, I ever violated something and had my channel deleted. Which I doubt. I doubt it ever happened. But, could you imagine storing, what, 5,000 videos? 3,000? 3, 5,000 videos? Each one's at least 30 minutes to an hour long. That'd be a that'd be a big archive file, sir. Big archive. Okay, where are we at? Do we have one one more? I think we have to go over one more. Now, for those of you that don't know about the void kill, down there below the rocks and stuff is the void. Not the ocean, the void. And with the void you can fall into it and not lose your axis. And that's because the script... No, 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 wait, wait, stop! <laughs> the script that causes you to drop your axe, like that, is actually on the character. It's on the avatar, right? So if you jump into the void, it destroys everything. So that script that makes you drop your axes is gone. That's why the void kill works, watch. See my axes? I died. Guess what? I'm gonna go back to my base and still have my axes. Boom. There you go. 
just a just a little bit more knowledge and they're out of order so that's it thank you everyone for watching this episode of lumber tycoon 2 with me heath haskins code primate don't forget to like comment subscribe down below and if you need to forgive yourself do it do it now say self i forgive you i love you guys very much have a great night and we'll talk to you very soon <laughs> outro Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.